This morning, we are putting together the ultimate summer reading list. Best-selling author John Searles is here with his picks. John is known for his suspenseful novels, including the thriller Strange But True, which was turned into a movie in 2019. His latest book, Her Last Affair, is now out in paperback. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you all. Hi, I was reading through the note last night, and I'm like, all oh, these books look really good. I really tried to pick some light-hearted summer mm -hmm. reads so you can just it. float by the pool, yes. in nice. the pool, and just... Um, so what are we starting with? Okay, the first is The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. So this is about a hardworking book publicist with no time for love <laughs> who inherits her favorite aunt's, stay with me here, time traveling apartment. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> God, that sounds kind of crazy. I like but, time travel. So one night she wakes up and there's a really hot guy in her living room. He's not an intruder. He's a man who happens to be living in the same apartment seven years in the past. That's oh. fun. When they fall in love, things get a little tricky. Uh, it's breezy. It's fun. It's great. That but also sounds I like a movie, that. right? Yeah. That sounds like something fun to watch. Oh, there's so many great new releases. You have another one, another beach read. Um, you say we need to get our tissues ready for this. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You know the rule realtors always say, location Location, location, location. Mm -hmm. I have the same rule with the summer read. I love a book set in a great location mm -hmm. in the summer. In this case, it's on Fire Island. Okay. Jane Rose. Have you ever been? I've only yes. been once yes. in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, years ago, I got to revisit in this book. Here's the setup. A woman in her 30s dies uh, okay. unexpectedly, or, or not so unexpectedly, but early in her life. And um, she, rather than go to the great beyond, she gets the choice to stay behind in spirit one last summer on her favorite place oh. with her favorite people. Wow. It's a bit of a tearjerker, so have your tissues at the ready, but it's also written with a dry wit, and so okay. it's mm -hmm. really wonderful. Now, John, you say this next one is something you you, you just couldn't put down, and, and if you're a fan of Jordan Peele's Get Out, I, you Yes, love exactly. <laughs> yes, I... Um, I have a thing for creepy books about secrets and marriages. Like my mm. book, Her Last Affair, starts every marriage has its secrets. Mm. Early on in this book, there's a line where the mother says to her newly married daughter, honey, we, oh, we all marry strangers. That's Ooh. all it took to hook me, I know. So when this woman becomes pregnant and her stranger of her husband takes her to a very remote area, on vacation, mm. like so remote, there's no cell phone service, which uh -oh. is oh, always is a bad sign. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not good. And speaking of movies, uh, this has a real Rosemary's Baby vibe. Okay. It's creepy. Mm. I could not stop turning the pages. Beware the Woman by Megan Abbott. Mm. Okay. This next one is kind of a rom com. Uh, yes, it's called. This is a gay pride Pride Month pick. Okay. Okay. It's called Best Man by Cindy Carter. Now, imagine you're a gay man. Stay with me here. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, imagine your best friend is a straight woman who. The life of the party lights up every room she walks into, but suddenly she sa announces she's getting married, she's settling down, she's pulling the plug mm. on the party life. So you're a little bit bummed. That is until you meet her fiance's very handsome, very attractive gay brother. Ah, oh, nice. So park your butt in a, a pool float with a rose in <laughs> one <fun>. hand, <laughs> and this book in the other, and you're set for the summer. I love that. And you awesome. also have a, a Father's Day pick. I think this is cool. Um, this is written by the husband of one of our booking coordinator producers, Ali Detweiler. But what makes this book so special? Well, it's called How to Dad, and uh, the, it's a kind of tongue-in-cheek, funny, but also very real advice book for oh. first-time dads, and it has crucial <laughs> advice like how to lose the dad bod. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> that's There's that's a cute. section called Eat, Pray, Poop about how to change a diaper. I yeah. love and that. And how to take uh, rock and baby pics so you make people jealous. I love that. Baby. So it has really great advice in it, too. It's a lot of dad books like that. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. And tell us about your latest novel. Uh, Her Last Affair, it's a suspenseful story set at a creepy old drive-in movie theater, so mm -hmm. great for summer reading. And it tells the story of three seemingly separate characters, and you don't know how they're connected, and when they come together, it ratchets up into a novel of suspense. Oh, yeah. cool. So. I love it. But your mind must always be, I guess, creating, isn't it? It, it is like always it. creating. Right now, as I'm watching all of you, I'm yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I can put you in. Oh, oh, yay. It could be We're scary. Where do we end up? see John's picks, head to today.com. <laughs> and happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Hey. Hey. Appreciate it. Thank all you. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.